Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Stav and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. And I'm so excited to be starting this new series all about finding the perfect carry gun. My brilliant husband came up with this idea for a series where I try a new gun every week, shoot it, carry it, and give you guys my thoughts on each one because I know it can be difficult to find a carry gun when there's so many options out there and it's all very user specific. So I'm going to be giving you my experience with each one. And we're starting off the series with episode one, which is going to be the Glock 42. If you've been here for a while, you might know that I carried the Smith & Wesson Shield for years. That was my main carry gun. I recently started carrying the Glock 42 and I've been loving it. And we're starting this series with my everyday carry gun so that I have a solid baseline for the other guns that I try. So if you don't subscribe to my channel already, please make sure to subscribe and also make sure to hit the notification bell because I think that the YouTube algorithm has sort of been working against me, let's just say. So make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are alerted every time I post a new video um, and that would really help to support my channel. If there's any firearms that you guys want me to test out throughout this series, please leave that in the comments below and I'll try to get my hands on one. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to try all these different guns and give you guys my thoughts on them. So the way this is gonna work is I'm going to go to the range every single week, shoot the gun that I'm gonna be carrying that week the same exact way. So I'll be doing a 50 round warm up, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then I'm going to be shooting the same course of fire twice. And I'll take the best of the two targets as my winner for that week. And then I can compare how the weeks go with different guns. So there's gonna be revolvers in the mix as well as semi-automatics. But if you guys have something you want me to try, I'll try to get my hands on one. So leave it down in the comments below. Also, I announced this on my channel's community tab, but if you're not aware, I started a second channel, which I will link in the description below that you can check out. I'll put the first video I have up here in case you wanna go check it out. But that channel is going to be personal and faith related stuff. So if you're interested in that part of my life, I'm gonna be sharing a lot on there. I have a lot of ideas. So make sure you go subscribe and I would really appreciate the support on that channel as well. Okay, so like I said, we're starting with the Glock 42, which is my normal carry gun. It's a 380. The shield I was carrying was a nine millimeter and I've been carrying this mostly for two reasons. I started carrying it more in the summer because I would carry in a bag that I had and this fit perfectly. You guys have probably seen that bag multiple times by now. I wear it all the time and I talk about it a lot. But that was one of the reasons I started carrying this. The shield was a tad too big for that bag. And so I started carrying the Glock 42 and I really enjoyed it. I also really enjoy shooting this gun. Um, and if you want to see a video Mac did talking about why this is such a good carry gun, I'm gonna link that up here too. You guys can check that out. He did a really good job talking in depth about this gun. But this week, this is what I'm going to be carrying, and so today we went to the range already. I shot all the live fire footage, so I'm going to include that in this video. But you'll see I was wearing the sticky holster. And you're going to see every time I holster my gun, I'm going to take the sticky holster out of my waistband to reholster. And that's just for safety reasons. And I wanted to mention that if you carry a certain type of holster, even if it's kind of a pain to reholster, I highly recommend you training with that holster because yes, I could get like a Kydex outside the waistband holster that would be quicker to reholster, but it's not realistic. I wanna train as often as I can with the things that I actually use. So even though you're gonna see me when I'm doing the live fire, every time I reholster, I take the entire thing out, reholster, and then put it back in my waistband. That's just for safety reasons. So. That's just a little tip. I highly recommend using the gear that you actually carry. And you'll see in the video, the sticky holster worked great. I've been loving this holster. I have a discount code for my followers below. So if you want to check it out, I will link that below. And I'll make sure to link all the gear I use in all these videos during this series so you can check it out. But that's the holster that I use in the live fire portion of this video. It just sits in there like that sticks inside my waistband and doesn't come out. You'll see it never once comes out with the gun. So they work great. So I'm just gonna weigh this gun the way that I would carry it so you guys can get an idea of how much it weighs for concealed carry. So I usually carry it with a six round magazine plus one round in the chamber. So I've got the empty Glock, empty magazine, and seven rounds of my carry ammo 
and that all weighs one pound, four ounces. So that's what I usually carry day to day in the Glock 42. For each gun I feature in this series, I'm gonna show you its weight the way that I would carry it. So if you carry an extended magazine or something like that, that's gonna be different for you, but I'm gonna show you the way I carry it and how much that would weigh on my body. Just for reference, I'm five foot two, about 110 pounds, give or take. And so that's my size. I have very small hands, like very small hands. Um, so that plays a factor. You're gonna see when I do the live fire in this video that I have a couple malfunctions when I'm shooting lefty. And that might be because I'm not gripping the gun well enough with my left hand and that's something I need to be aware of and practice more. It could also be the magazines that I used for those certain drills. Unfortunately, we didn't keep track of which ones were involved in the malfunctions. Um, I'll be more careful about that next time when I shoot the, the following firearms because then I can pinpoint if there's a problem with the magazine. And it could also be the ammunition because we just have a big container of 380 ammo and we were just using whatever we grabbed out of there. So it could have been any of those factors, but my husband also carries a Glock 42. So next time we go to the range, I'm gonna try his out and see if I have the same issue because then it's, it's a me problem and I'll be able to pinpoint that. So let's head to the range now so you guys can see how I did with the Glock 42. Again, I'm starting with this gun as a baseline because I carry it all the time anyway. And then I'll also share footage from throughout the week and show you different ways that I carry the Glock 42. Okay guys, I'm here at the range now and for every gun that I'm gonna feature, we're gonna do a 50 round warm up. So let's do a warm up with the Glock 42. Okay, now that I'm nice and warmed up, I'm going to shoot the same course of fire for every gun that I feature in these episodes. So we're going to start at 15 yards, I'm going to step to the right, fire five rounds, reload, Step to the left, left, fire five more. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing but from the 10 yard line. too fast. <laughs> okay, so far I'm doing okay, but now I'm going to switch to my dominant hand only, which for me is my right hand. So we're going to go to seven yards, and I'm going to do five rounds. Step right, fire five with my right hand. Step left, fire five with my right hand. But I'm going to reload using both my hands.
Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but with my non-dominant hand, which for me is my left hand. I think I'm gonna have to slow it down a little bit and I'm not gonna be drawing. I've already got my gun in my left hand, so there'll be no transitioning or anything. So here we go. Push that mag in. fire 10 shots but in two round bursts. So I'm going to fire two, stepping to the right, then holster. Step to the left, draw and fire two and go back and forth until I've fired 10 rounds. All right, let's see how I did. I have a few misses. Did you notice when I did this one? Overall, pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna do it one more time and we'll take the better of my two targets. That's okay. It's all, all part of the game. We should know. When you shoot lefty, I don't think you're holding it tight enough, but that's, it's all important. Oh, this is not a miss. That's not a hole. That was from my, my last That's a hole in the other paper. Okay, so ignore that. <laughs> so I had one, two, three misses. Yeah. I'd say this one was better. You think so? Yeah. I would say my second run went better. Malfunctions with left hand only. Something to think about. We yeah, gotta practice. I had a few mal malfunctions with my left hand. I might not be gripping the gun tight enough with my left hand. Okay. So Mac just scored my targets. My first run was this one right here. You got a 90%, four misses, uh, five misses. And then my second run, I got a 94% and he made note of my malfunctions. Um, it's just good to know when those happened. And three misses. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday and I'm off to pick up my husband's skates. So I'm gonna show you my concealed carry for today with the Glock 42 because if we're gonna be choosing a concealed carry gun, we need to know how we can carry it, right? So I'm wearing a bodysuit with this sweater and some jeans and I could conceal something on my waist probably, but the sweater doesn't close, it just stays open. So I'm gonna show you the bag I'm gonna to use today. This braid has been like my lazy day hairstyle. And every time I do it, it reminds me of my sister because she does her hair like this all the time. I think we look alike. This boy, whenever I take out the camera, it's like he doesn't like me talking to the camera. What is it? I can't only talk to you, you know. This bag is one of the reasons I started carrying the Glock 42 because it's the perfect size. I actually saw this in a clothing store and I thought, I think I could fit a gun in there. So if you want to see how I made this into a concealed carry bag, check the link up here where I go in depth. 
But that's how I'm gonna carry today. I just love this bag. It's comfortable, my hands are free. It just has this strap that goes around my back. I have to fix that. And it's quick access to my gun in there. So if you wanna know more about this bag, check out that link. But that's how I'm gonna carry today. I got my pepper spray, my extra magazine with my Neo Mag, and my pocket knife. So now I'm gonna go pick up my husband's skates and I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's concealed carry. Tomorrow's Sunday, so I'll show you how I carry at church. All right guys, it's a little later the same day, but I'm on my way to a child's birthday party right now and it's at someone's house, so I don't wanna have my bag on me the whole time. Um, so I'm gonna carry my Glock 42 in a sticky holster. This is the one that you saw me shooting out of, but I just wanna show you how versatile it is because I don't have to have a belt, it sticks when I draw the gun and if I'm gonna like be playing with kids and whatnot, I want my trigger protected, I want it to not slip or go anywhere, and I want it on my body. So that's what I'm doing right now. Sticky holsters come in sizes up to full size guns. So this one's not really size specific for, like it doesn't matter if you have a larger gun, you can still carry in a sticky holster. And even if your dog is pawing at you, your trigger is protected. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sunday morning, my favorite day of the week. And I just got ready for church and it's a little cold out, but I'm forcing myself to wear a dress so I can show you how to carry in a dress or a skirt. So I can be carrying the Glock 42 again. <sighs> okay, I have this long dress on. <laughs> you heard me filming, see? And I'm wearing a sweater over it. The sweater also helps to hide my thigh holster. So I'm gonna show you here how I'm carrying on my leg. So there's my thigh holster, Glock 42. I also have an extra magazine in this front pocket. Unfortunately, Can Can Concealment that makes these thigh holsters went out of business, which is horrible because why? <laughs> they make my favorite belly bands and thigh holsters, but uh, there's a void there now, but Sticky Holsters makes a really good thigh holster and I would have used it today, but my husband is using the sticky holster, which is fine, but it's the same idea. So I really like thigh holsters. They help you to carry in a skirt or a dress and no one can tell that it's there. So as I go through different guns during this series, I'll try to carry in a dress for each one to show you guys how that works out. It's gonna be a little more challenging with larger guns, but we'll figure it out because where there's a will, there's a way. So this is my Sunday outfit. I'm gonna go to church and then I'm going over to my sister's house to teach her how to make sourdough bread. So that should be fun. But that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of the perfect carry gun series here on She Equips Herself. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if there's anything that you want me to try or see in this series and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye!